Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to the subscribers, the viewers, the world out there. Today we are going to take a look at Taurus's week ahead for April 19th through the 25th. In this reading we are going to tap into the Psychic Tarot deck for the energies. Then we are going to break it down a little bit deeper with a traditional tarot deck. I will pull a soul journey card at the end of the message as well as a power thought card as I usually do. So I am doing the weeklies a little bit different guys. If you are um, returning to the channel, let me know if you like this spread a little bit better than the old spread. I feel like I get a little bit more information out of it, honestly. Also, guys, please keep in mind that these messages here are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. Uh, you are more than welcome to check other signs. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. On more information, how to book a personal reading, energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings, all that other useful information is below in the description box. And if you would like future messages, you like how I vibe or interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome. And it does help set your intentions for future messages. So Taurus, let's get into it. April 19th through the 25th spirit. What does Taurus need to see for this week? and envy and choose wisely two more cards please and we'll get into the message I feel like there's definitely a choice that needs to be made um, maybe this has to do with past the past and the present or the past and the future <clears throat> The cards are saying here, Taurus, is to kind of take a step back. Okay, this is the Hermit card in this deck. Taking a step back and really getting in tune with yourself um, and what you truly want. You know, where do you envision yourself going? And then choosing that which aligns with your future the best okay so let's pull some traditional tarot cards out here there's definitely a choice that needs to be made because we have choose wisely so this definitely is um, a choice that's needing to be made here let's dig a little bit deeper to see what type of a choice you're going to have to make here, Taurus. Most important message here, Spirit, what does Taurus need to see? What choice is here? What? A little bit deeper into this message, please and thank you. What does Taurus need to see for April 19th through the 25th? See or hear. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Swords. See, you're at a crossroads here. I definitely feel like this is having to do with career, work, okay? Um, I do feel like there is some healing that's taking place in this decision here, okay? Things from your past that 
are aren't very aren't serving the purpose moving forward and i feel like they don't want you to move on and part of you is wanting to move forward from this connection and part of you is is stuck here <clears throat> star card with the five of swords there's definitely a lot of um, mental back and forth about this there's a need here to focus on the balance okay focus on what is for your highest good what makes you happy the most okay Well, this is interesting. The King of Cups and the King of Pentacles just came out. So that could be your choices right there, Taurus. Maybe it's a water sign and a earth sign you're having to choose from. I'm just going to say this because I, I, I just feel like this is what's coming out. If you don't make a decision, somebody else will. Two of Pentacles, Page of Swords, um, Eight of Cups, and on the bottom we have the Five of Cups here. So what we see here, Taurus, is... Somebody's going to walk away from this connection if there isn't a decision made here. Now, I do feel here that um, this is a hard decision for you to make. Because of the cards coming out here, the Eight of Swords blindfolded, Two of Swords blindfolded, the Star card is healing. Um, trusting your intuition, trusting your inner guidance, your inner wisdom. You may need to take a step back and get balanced here, Taurus. Let's get some clarification out here. Clarification for Taurus on this message, Spirit. Um, what does Taurus need to see here? First, let's clarify this. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords. Too many cards, too many cards. But we have the Ace of Swords, Seven of Wands, Ten of Swords. Okay. King of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Sun card. So somebody is going to end. There's going to be an ending here. You're going to have to end one of these connections or um, somebody else is going to end this for you. Eight of swords, two of swords. Please and thank you, spirit. Eight of swords, two of swords. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, came back out. So I feel like you feel connected to both of these people. You have a strong connection with both people, but I feel like somebody is being deceptive. One of these people are being deceptive here. One of these people are very honest, very trustworthy, very grounded. Getting the sense here that it's the king of pentacles, the earth sign that for those of you, this is resonating. If this is resonating, guys, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Um... <clears throat> I feel like what's going on here is the reason why it's hard for you to walk away is because is this is a past person that you're walking away from, I feel like, and they're holding on to this, holding on to this here, Taurus. Let's get some clarification on the Page of Swords to the Eight of Cups, please and thank you. That ending, walking away, whatever you have to walk away from, is a lot of in 
not wanting to make a decision is the sense that I'm getting. This is going to get burdensome if you don't make a decision. Like I said, somebody else is going to make this decision for you. And I feel like if that, if the other person makes this decision, um, I feel like it's not going to be the decision you want. It could turn out worse than you expect. So it's time to make a decision is what I feel like is coming out here, Taurus. That's what I can see. The psychic tarot is telling you, um, take a step back from all of the connections for now. And, um, really get clear on what your future, what you want your future to look like down to every minute detail. You know, where do you want to live? How do you want to live? What type of career do you envision for yourself? All of these things. And then which person aligns better with that? Right? This is very interesting here, Taurus. So the two soul journey cards that are coming out here for you, Taurus. Trust says, I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly, right? Trusting that intuition, trusting your intuition, just like I said, trusting your inner voice. Then we have death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So, <laughs> trust the process, but that inner voice, remember, trusting your intuition, letting your intuition guide you in the direction that you need to go for your future, for your highest good. Where are you headed? Do you see this person being able to fit in with that future? Or have you changed so much that you this probably isn't going to work. You have to really decide right now. It's time to really decide here, Taurus. Let's get a power thought card. I am going to do an extended version to this reading. In the extended version, um, we're going to take a look at what the next steps are moving forward from this. Okay. We're going to look into, um, what advice spirit has for you at this time in this situation. And also we'll pull out the blessing cards, the guidance cards for the blessing and the soul truth for the lesson. If that's something you guys are interested in. The link will be below in the description box. The point of power is always in the present moment. past is over and done and has no power over me. I can begin to be free in this moment. Today's thoughts create my future. I am in charge. I now take my own power back. I am safe and I am free. Beautiful Taurus, beautiful. So that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you want to get in on the extended version, link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.